On this vote, the yeas are 220 and the nays are 204. The bill is passed without objection. A motion to reconsider is laid on the table. And yes, with that, the Democrats earlier today passed marijuana legalization. Isn't that interesting? They said it couldn't be done. And in the end, it probably won't. But in the House, it was done. So let me give you the details. In addition to decriminalizing marijuana at the federal level, the bill that was passed earlier would establish procedures for expunging previous convictions from people's records and impose a tax on the sale of cannabis products. Now, the details on the tax include that it will start at 5%, eventually increasing to 8. Funding raised through the tax would go towards a fund to provide job training, mentoring, substance abuse treatment, legal aid, reentry services, and youth recreation programs. It would also provide loans to help small businesses in the cannabis industry that are, quote, owned and controlled by socially and economically disadvantaged individuals. And the Democrats are very excited about having done this. Nancy Pelosi called it the most important criminal justice reform bill in recent history, at least one of them. And what she might be alluding to is the fact that more people were arrested for cannabis last year than all different kinds of violent crimes put together, Jeez. according to the FBI. Yeah, but those are like violent crimes. I mean, little things like murder and those sorts of, this is weed. You smoke it and you feel good mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit funny. Maybe you eat a little bit more, that's serious stuff there. Now there are downsides to this as you might expect, but they did pass it. So Adrian, I wanna start with you, what do you think about this? I think it's good that they passed it. And the thing is, it's long overdue. We know that the criminalization of marijuana possession, it is completely rooted in racist origins. And you know, to see our country finally move forward in a direction of recognizing this, it's a powerful thing. Because what, we have at least 37 states, four territories and DC that have allowed medicinal use of marijuana. And then at least 18 states are allowing just consumer non-medical use. So it just, it seems foolish that our federal government hasn't gotten on board. Also, when we consider the racist impact of marijuana use and the fact that black people still remain more likely to be arrested for marijuana possession in all of the states, it just, it really says a lot of this stuff is long overdue. Yeah, I mean, I have a little clarifying question because I do want to draw the distinction between decriminalization and legalization. This is legalization, I'm all for it. And I believe if you are taxing something, it's legalization. Anyway, decriminalization simply just feeds another black market without allowing states or to actually have businesses that sell cannabis and marijuana for all kinds of use. So I just, I think that's really important. I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere <laughs> considering how many red states would be opposed to something like this, even though everybody knows they could use the money, we could all use the money. Um, but I think this is an incredible step. When Nancy Pelosi is heralding something, you're like, okay, this, <laughs> it, this must be politically safe because mm -hmm. why would she be excited about it? Yeah, it means that it's not only reasonable, but it should have been done 30 years ago. It's usually what that <laughs> exactly, indicates. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you're right, the, the red politicians, at least for red states, will pretend that this is gonna herald the apocalypse, even though um, I've done research. I actually embedded myself. I'm gonna say I've done weed. Um, I've, like, also, I've also done that. No, um, I embedded myself in the white community for my entire life. You know what white <laughs> people do? They smoke weed, lots of them, including conservatives, by the way. Uh, they largely get away without any consequences for doing so, but they very much do it. So don't give me that like they actually have a problem with it thing. Right. They just, the politicians will use it. No, marijuana legalization is wildly popular. It should have happened a very long time ago. Um, but despite that, despite how popular it is, um, Republicans, only three of them voted for the bill. Mm. And get ready to give a small amount of credit to one of the worst people around. Oh. Who do you think's on that list of the three? <laughs> Matt Gates, Brian Mast, and Tom McClintock. Now, that's only because it takes away one of his charges. That's true. He was also very curious to so like, how young can I buy weed for? Like, can they be young when I buy them weed? But anyway, he did vote for it. And look, that's consistent. He was in favor of legalization back when he was in um, just in Florida government, and he should very much go back to that. But uh, yeah, three voted uh, for it. Two Democrats voted against it. Chris Pappas of New Hampshire and. Henry Cuellar, oh because in the God. midst of this primary against Jessica Cisneros, he just has to be the worst. Two Democrats, 
hundreds in favor of it. And he believes, no, in my district, I want people to be locked up for this. It is Texas after all, they're not in our position. Not, it's not like California over there in terms of legalization. Well, and not to mention a border district, mm -hmm. right? Like which could use and needs legalization and regulation and a decriminal, like, like it would do so much for allowing folks to go after large scale drug traffickers and people who are just arrested for dime bags. Like, like, what are we talking about here? You're actually, you know, running on things like, oh, we're against like narco corruption or whatever. Like, come on. So I don't know. I just feel like that keeps that just ensures that your district is even less safe. Yeah, I would actually throw in the fact that um, a lot of this has not been legalized in part because they don't want the competition, the competition with alcohol manufacturers yep. mm -hmm. as well as um, drugs, opioids, and whatnot. Uh, I've been around a lot of athletes, and they need to regenerate and heal, and they would prefer to use marijuana as opposed to opioids, which would be a great way to go about it. But we have these companies and uh, the capitalistic nature of our society, and also alcohol's been doing its thing for a long, long time in the United States, and you have a lot of uh, families that have built their wealth on that. Yeah. And so I could. I could see why a number of people in Congress, regardless of the side of it, didn't want to stray from those who support them. And that those people probably have their hands, pockets, or mm -hmm. their legacies built on either drugs in the whole pharmaceutical angle or also in alcohol. Yeah, no, that you're, is you're such a good right. point. That is such a. Can I just say really briefly, like I do think that the model of just sort of throwing every substance to the open market is fundamentally a fairly dangerous one. I think that you know we should be legalizing marijuana. However, in implementing these kinds of taxes for things like substance abuse um, treatment uh, and and jobs programs, that is the way to go. And I think you're totally right, Adrian. That the alcohol industry is probably like, wait, are they going to make us divert some of that money? Right? Are they going to yeah. hold us responsible for you know the amount of uh, uh, liver disease in this country, like whatever, or the amount of abuse of alcohol? So, I guess. I'm going back to the Uruguay model. Uruguay legalized marijuana a few years ago, studied all kinds of models from Colorado to Portugal to everywhere that it has been legal. And they have a very strict, look, you can't advertise this. You can use it, you can even grow it, but we don't want it everywhere so ubiquitous in the same way that alcohol is ubiquitous here in the United States. So just some food for thought um, as you all have the munchies. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think, look, I think that's fair. I think that they're free to do that, I personally think like even in the states where it's been legalized, these these are all half measures in a million different ways that we don't have time to get into. I'm perfectly fine with the advertising. Honestly, like there is not, if you were to take an alien and have them visit and show them alcohol and all of what alcohol does and weed, there's no way they'd be like, oh yeah, no, weed is the dangerous one. I've been <laughs> conducting experiments on my own body for some time, alternating <laughs> getting high and drunk. I, I tell myself it's gonna make me a better writer. That hasn't materialized yet, but I'm sticking with it. Um, and there is no argument to be made that weed is more like, no, like not worse at for all. your body, exactly. worse socially. Seriously. It just. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sick of the the effective like financial like blackballing of these businesses. Like they have to operate outside of the financial system. Honestly, I, I like some of the stuff about substance abuse. I'm over these taxes too. Like if you go to buy marijuana in California, it is crazy artificially raised in price because of all these taxes and fees and all of this different stuff that alcohol doesn't have to. Right be burdened by. So yeah. I get that these are all considered things that you need to do to get it passed initially. But I consider these starting off points. We need to be revisiting all of these different paths to legalization and starting to strip away some of the unnecessary burdens and obstacles that are that are put for both consumers and producers of this perfectly reasonable and mostly harmless substance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But anyway, we can have a little bit of fun right now because um, the Democrats did successfully vote it in, um, but the Republicans were not happy about it. And they tried to make the case for why this shouldn't happen. Take a look at this. I'm a pharmacist, I know addiction, I know and I've studied addiction. I can tell you marijuana is nothing more than a gateway drug. We have a justice department that is treating parents as domestic terrorists, spying on moms and dads who simply show up at school board meetings. We know that's going on, putting a threat tag label on parents. This designation, this label on moms and dads simply standing up for their kids. And Democrats are focused on legalizing drugs. That legalizing marijuana will force the criminal element to redouble their efforts 
into hard, more dangerous drugs to replace the profit that's been lost from marijuana. Look, that is just a sampling. They were they were throwing everything against the wall against this to try to make it stick. They're rolling out the old reefer madness, gateway drug business, all of that. Talking about random stuff totally disconnected from anything having to do with drugs. Um, they know that they've lost this argument. They have no logical case here. And so they try to terrify people. They try to get the last vestiges of socially conservative opposition to weed uh, to rally uh, against it. And it just, it, it's, it's, not, it's not reasonable, it's not a path. The idea that the Democrats are wrong to be focusing on this, if it, it look, just pass it, just pass it then. We don't have yeah. to focus on it socially. We can just get it passed and be done and then move back on to whatever conspiratorial BS you wanna talk about, Jim Jordan. I mean, and we'll see how they react. Cuz I mean, remember the whole uh, kerfuffle over, oh, so the Biden administration is providing clean syringes for mm -hmm. users in like safe use, like harm reduction packages. And then they walked that all the way back. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no one's helping people safely use drugs so they don't overdose and die. <laughs> yeah. Just own it, you know just what? be for, for it. We need to be really kind of real about this too, because as much as they're out here saying this is bad reefer madness and throwing all this shade on it, you know they're calling um, their brokerage guy, investment banker, all these <laughs> things to buy them stock. You know oh, they are, because sure. yep. I own stock in various cannabis companies. Oh, and so okay. it's like, just like they're out here <laughs> talking all this game, you know they're buying mm. the stock right now, knowing if this goes all the way, that they wanna be the first ones to cash in. Yeah. Didn't John Boehner leave Congress? Yes. And become like As just invest in weed? He's, He's a, a lobbyist. lobbyist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after the show, Adrian, we're gonna have to talk. I need some tips. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, it's 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 all ridiculous. I want to have just a little bit more fun though. Let's let's close with this video. I'm very proud today to stand for this legislation with the party of democracy and freedom for the people, rather than the party of Big Brother and failed drug authoritarianism. I concede our party is not for the kind of cocaine-fueled orgies that a freshman Republican representative bragged about this week, but we do understand that their marijuana prohibition laws don't work for our people. That's nice from Jamie Raskin. I can appreciate that. He gets he he deserves to have a little bit of fun from time to time. Come on. He could have added a little shudder. Cocaine fueled orgies. Ooh, like like it's just like <laughs> I, I actually would have preferred a lot of like the the nose and right, right. Yeah. Some, yeah. A little more act out. We could workshop it. <laughs> it's very good. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.